much. Let's go ahead and talk about criminal justice reform. This is State Question 805. It would prevent the use of prior nonviolent convictions to increase prison sentences for people convicted of new nonviolent crimes. You've been seeing the advertisements on television. You've been hearing them on the radio. Let's see what is happening down in Oklahoma City. We have our very own Sierra Pizarro there at the watch party for 805. So Sierra, how are people handling the uh, votes that are coming in now? Because we have a lot of early voting. We have the absentee ballot, ballot but now we're adding today's voting and it's a pretty tight race. Right. This is the Yes on 805 watch party. The advocacy group that has been pushing for this for about a year and a half now, they say they're keeping an eye on those numbers. And it, at last check, it's not looking too good at the moment. But of course, they're keeping their hopes up, uh, keeping the spirit alive, so to speak. And you're not going to see too much activity behind me because this is mainly uh, a virtual event. But those who support 805 say if it passes, it would reduce the amount of money taxpayers uh, pay the state by um, not keeping prisoners incarcerated for as long. They also say if 805 is passed, people already incarcerated may seek sentenced, sentence modification. And the policy wouldn't apply to people convicted of violent felonies. However, some law enforcement leaders believe the policy just doesn't make sense. We're obligated to follow the law as written, and we don't have the ability to up a charge just because we like it. We have to have the facts to support it. And uh, so from my perspective, uh, this is not safe for Oklahoma. It's not good for our state. I also spoke with a repeat offender who spent 12 years in prison for three different drug convictions. Linda Steven hopes 805 passes for those who just need resources instead of prison time. Mason Morrow, over to you now at the Tulsa County Election Board.